Hello YouTube, you are watching Captain Wright with the NOA and today I am talking about Star Wars Rogue One and why it should have been the sequel trilogy. Now I'll be upfront and honest, I didn't think Rogue One was a perfect film. I felt like the characters in that film were undercut, underdeveloped and they just weren't as likeable as the OT characters. With that said, it's still a fun film. There's a lot of good action and cinematography there. The story is pretty decent and it really does add a bit more to the story of Star Wars. We get to know a little bit more about the Rebellion and so forth. And after watching the Star Wars sequels, how they butcher the lore of the OT and prequel trilogy, how they resurrect old characters from the dead like Palpatine, how they completely butchered iconic characters like Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia and Han Solo, Chewbacca, etc. It just ruined the perfect ending that Star Wars Return of the Jedi had. I felt like that was a perfect ending. That's where the Luke Skywalker saga should have ended. I'm not saying you can't make any more after that time period. I'm just saying... That should have been the end of the Skywalker saga. You know, you can make a whole new Star Wars story set a hundred years apart in the future without the Skywalkers in it. Maybe a, maybe a cameo, that's it. That's all it should have been. By bringing back old characters, it only serves to destroy the original trilogy, in my opinion. But Rogue One doesn't. It adds... To the original trilogy it adds to the prequel trilogy because it is essentially a pre-sequel movie and if we had gotten a pre-sequel trilogy with the characters from rogue one trying to find out how to destroy the death star in the last film and then in the other two it goes back further we actually get to see how emperor sidious and darth vader took over the galaxy from their perspective that would have been great. And we could have had cameos from Obi-Wan. We could have seen Darth Vader more. More Emperor Sidious. How he became a political power horse. There was so much you could have done. With this timeline. And we've only got Solo and Rogue One. Rogue One is a good film in my opinion. Although the characters are undercooked. And it could have been better. Solo is terrible. I got halfway through it and just stopped watching it I didn't like it at all but if they had made the Rogue One movie a trilogy and that was the mainland Disney films could have been a lot better in my opinion I'll leave with this I have noticed the smaller Star Wars projects are actually a lot better and well received than the mainline Star Wars films truth is I haven't seen The Mandalorian I haven't played Jedi Fallen Order but from fan reception people love those games and TV show and I think the main reason is because they are smaller projects so they just kind of tell an original story where with the big projects they're trying to appeal to everyone and by doing that that's why they bring back the old characters that's why it's full of kiddie stuff and that's why it's full of crappy humour because they're trying to get money out of everyone's pockets and by trying to please everyone they pleased no one both my ebooks are now available on amazon kindle the new order of alexandria is a dystopian sci-fi adventure full of violence drama with plenty of gunfights paranormal homicide is a supernatural horror set in my hometown of runcorn a murder mystery with a sinister twist both of my books are 18 plus so you never miss out on the dark and gritty details. Don't forget to follow our Facebook page The New Order of Alexandria for everything NOA.